Hey everyone, first I wanna start off by saying thank you so much to everyone that has reached out to me and that were concerned about me and my dog's well-being. I am safe. Um, this is going to be a vlog of when I first started, uh, when I first lost power. But I do wanna say the, the purpose of this video is to not gain sympathy. I do not want anyone to feel sorry for me because I did not have the worst of it. I did not have the worst of it and I'm so very grateful that I have a friend. Um, I was able to come to her home uh, Monday night. She has a generator and so people around her did not have power but she had power so I was able to get here safely um, which you will see in the vlog. I'll show you guys later but my prayers are with those that lost their loved ones, lost a family member, lost their homes. Um, people have died from this, from burning wood, cardboard, even charcoal in their homes from uh, sitting in their cars too long and dying from carbon monoxide poisoning or whatever. What happened is very serious and it breaks my heart that so many people have negative things to say about Texas um, and I don't think people realize like what was going on. Okay, a brief summary of what happened in Texas if you were unaware. So every city in Texas had freezing temperatures. So everyone in Texas, every home, was using their power, their heat. They had their heater on high because we were cold. Like we've never experienced this. And because we were all using our heat at once, our we went like above the capacity for our power grid. Texas is the only state that regulates their own power. Um, so they're the only state that's not regulated by the federal government. And so they decided let's do rolling blackouts from, uh, you know, they were gonna turn off our power from 15 to 45 minutes. Um, that 45 minutes turned into hours and then that hour turned into days. And that is because our power lines ended up freezing. So while our power lines froze, we were in our apartments and our homes freezing and we're unable to cook food because we don't have power. During that time, we were all dripping our, fa our, our faucets to prevent our pipes from bursting. Well, they bursted anyway. And it turns out we were using too much water. You know, all of us dripping our faucets all at once, we were using up too much water. So they were asking us to cut back. But then whenever we cut back, the pipes bursted. So there's a lot of flooding happening. So imagine you're in your home and it's already freezing because you don't have the heater on because you have no power and you're starving because you can't cook. And then all of a sudden a pipe bursts and now you are flooded in your apartment. So imagine that. Um, on top of that, our water is contaminated because the power was off so they were unable to filter the water um, you know whatever filtering process there is to like clean the water um, so if you do have water you need to boil it because it's not safe to drink or give to your pets or to cook with it or to brush your teeth um, but some people cannot do that because they don't have power still um, and it's not that easy to just go to the store and get water because the stores are out of water. I went to three different stores and they don't have water. And not to mention uh, the gas stations are out of gas. Um, there, there was no truck deliveries like to deliver gas to the gas stations. So there's that. Uh, also, people were uh, melting snow so that they could use the snow water uh, to use it for their toilets to flush. Um, but I mean, there's literally no water. There was hospitals that have no water. I know that I'm not covering all of the topics about you know what happened here in Texas, but that's just like a brief summary. There's a lot to cover, you know, and I don't even know where to begin. So that's just a brief summary of what happened. Like I said before, I started this vlog on Monday before things started to get worse. So at the time, I did not realize the severity of the situation. And at the time, the worst didn't come yet. So um, yeah, just, I'm gonna share this vlog anyway because that's what I do. I share my vlogs with you guys um, and I hope you enjoy and I hope I don't get negative uh, feedback because I don't know, people just have a lot of negative things to say about Texas right now and I don't understand. Okay, I know this could seem extremely dramatic, especially if you're not from Texas, but um, right now I've been without power for an hour and a half, which is actually not bad compared to some people who haven't had power since last night. Um, and I'm grateful to even be inside an apartment, you know what I mean? Like there's some people out there that don't even have homes. So I'm very grateful. Luckily, because of my uh, paranoia and anxiety, I have things to get me through this because um, at first our 
power outages like they were going to do it like in sections and they were going to do it for 15 minutes to 45 minutes at a time but we just got an update or i just checked the website and it says that it's actually going to be like a few hours at a time like they're going to turn off everyone's power for a few hours um that way they could like conserve energy i don't know i can't explain it but basically i could be without power for a few hours um and right now i'm using my light like from the window because I obviously don't, I can't use anything else and I wouldn't want to plug in my freaking box light and use up energy that, you know, is not necessary. So um, let me show you what I'm getting uh, or what I have to get through this. So first I have my extra battery for my phone. This is just like a, a phone case that you put on your iPhone. I actually use this every single day anyway. It's really convenient when you want to lay down in bed and charge your phone at the same time. So I have that. And then I have this um, battery pack. This is actually for your car. So inside, it actually comes with this battery pack. My dad, my dad actually got me this. So you can get this at Harbor Freight. So it comes with the battery pack and then it comes with like these cable jumper things. So like if you're driving your car and your battery dies, you could actually jump your own car. So like you don't have to wait for someone to come help you. You know what I mean? But this battery pack, it has like little cable connector things. Like you can, I can plug in my phone and charge my phone if I wanted to. Um, and that's probably the only use I'm gonna get um, out of this inside. I don't know what else I would plug in. I have these little light switch things. Oh no, it doesn't even work. Whatever, it's fine. So eventually it is gonna get dark um, and my bathroom doesn't have any windows. So I actually got these from the Dollar Tree a while back and they're battery operated. And I have recharge rechargeable batteries and I recharge them like the other day. So these are fully charged. That's awesome. But last year, whenever the lockdown first happened, my mom told me to pack a bag with like non-perishable items that way like we didn't know what was happening last year like when the lockdown first happened and like i'm all about conspiracy theories and so are my parents and so they were like shit's gonna get real pack a bag if you ever need it with like things essential items right i have an mre like i said this probably seems really dramatic especially if you're not from texas but if i'm without power like i can't cook anything you know what i mean like the only thing that i could eat out of my fridge or pantry is probably like sandwich meat like i think that's maybe i have like a few fruits in there you know what i mean but but like something to actually like like a like a meal i can't use my stove or oven or microwave so yeah i actually have a barbecue pit outside like a mini one so if i have to i could uh cook something on there i'm so glad i packed an astronaut ice cream sandwich <laughs> i'm an idiot <laughs> Mind you, I packed this bag a year ago, okay? A year ago, I was like, if something happens, I want to have an ice cream sandwich. It's like a freeze-dried one, right? Yeah, freeze-dried. <laughs> All right, this is, a, this is basically like an MRE. This is from uh, Academy. It's self-heating, fully cooked, heats with any liquid. So this is a Southwest-style chicken with rice. It actually looks delish. So like I said, I don't have um, electricity, so I can't cook on the stove, I can't use a microwave. Like, this might seem dramatic, but like, I'm not being dramatic. Uh, I also have some chili, so that's also really exciting. Also, I didn't go to the grocery store before this. Like, whenever we found out like it was gonna snow, I looked on the weather thing and it literally showed that we were only gonna have snow for one day. So in my mind, I was like, oh, it's gonna be a little bit of snow. And then the next day it's going to be normal. I did not know it was going to be this bad. But now, like a few days in, I'm like, I'm down to like my, I have like five water bottles left. So like I'm down to my last five water bottles. Yeah. Um, and I know I look like not cute right now, but I'm trying. I'm fucking trying. Okay, it's cold. Okay, it's 12.30, so it's been two and a half hours without power. It is currently 55 degrees in my apartment. So I made me lunch, I guess, because I haven't ate since this morning. But yeah, I made uh, apples with almonds, chia seeds, cinnamon, and honey. I just feel really bad for the people that are, you know, 
that are without. So I will eat my apples. Um, feeling very grateful. And I just want to say, I realize I'm breaking out. Um, I keep touching my face. I, it's just, I guess when I'm nervous or stressed, I just, I don't know why, I just like to touch it. So, um, yeah, obviously I'm breaking out right now. My dogs want to go O-U-T. So I'm about to take them. I have really low energy right now too. And I just found out that the power block, whatever, basically like if you don't have power right now, apparently it's going to be out for two days, one or two days or something like that. So there's that. Sitting here at, on the couch trying to stay warm. Um, it's three o'clock, so it's been five hours without energy. Like I said, other people have had it worse. Um, my sister, she used a baking pan and a candle underneath to uh, heat up some food because she has no power and they have not ate all day. Um, yeah, I'm just sitting here. I have this little like scrap sheet so that way it can kind of keep me busy and stay off of my phone so I can save the battery to my phone. I have Brantley underneath uh, staying warm with me because, you know, he was cold. You know, I'm looking around and I'm, I could complain about literally everything right now. And it's like, I am grateful to even have food and even the little bit of water that I do have and blankets, you know, like some people just don't even have that. Oh my gosh, the power just turned on. I'm so excited. I'm going to make food and I'm going to charge all of my phones. Not my phones, but like my phone and like the battery pack. Oh my God. I'm so excited. That was so cold. It's 50 degrees in here. I know, again, I know other people probably have it worse, but I'm very grateful right now. Very grateful. Okay, well, I heat up some food. I had like a little bean and cheese burrito, literally just threw stuff in the microwave so I could eat something really quick. And then I started, um, you know, just throwing stuff on the stove to make soup and rice so I could have. And the power's out again. I'm, I'm really, really grateful that I was able to eat something, like, warm right now. But the power's out again. So, uh, here we go. Here we go again. Okay, I'm in my car. The lighting sucks, I'm sorry, but it's dark outside. It's 6.30 at night. Um... Yeah, and I just don't know what I'm going to do because the power is still not on. I was so cold inside. The dogs were cold. Like, Brantley was shivering. He's right here. With, you can barely see him. Um, but he's just crying. He was fine literally right before I started recording. But, yeah, I'm just going to be in the car. I don't know what else to do. I mean, I'm thinking about just getting a hotel. But, like, if I'm out of power, then they're probably out of power, too. And I also don't want to drive far. So, I don't know. I have their little um, travel kit for food. It's like, it's actually really convenient. It's like the container. And it comes apart. So this is the bowl for food. And this is the bowl for water. So I gotta make sure that they're fed. This is actually a kombucha um, container. But I like to just take the labels off when I'm done and recycle them. I also brought my little food. I'm really starving. By the way, this video is not for like sympathy or anything like that. It's honestly like, lol, look at our lives right now. I know I put a spoon in here. Okay, I've never made one of these, so I'm scared I'm gonna fuck it up. Okay, this is basically like an MRE. It has like the spoon, this and then this is the heating thing. Really confused about that. Someone's car is going off. By the way, it's pitch black. Like all, you can see, obviously it's pitch black. But like in my apartment complex, there's zero lights. I can, I'm gonna put this in my boot afterwards. My feet are cold. Okay, so apparently it's supposed to heat up in three to five minutes. Oh my god, you guys, it is steaming and it's fucking hot. I'm sorry, Brantley, it's steaming. Holy shit, should I put it outside? It's, it's literally hot. I wasn't expecting this. Okay, it's been like seven minutes and it's still steaming, but I'm 
actually starving. Can you see me? I'm actually starving and I will literally pass. Ow, fuck. If I didn't mention it already, it's like the chicken southwest or whatever. I'm actually excited just because I'm like starving. I honestly want to cry. <laughs> um, the flavor is very bland. It's like a... It's like a Tex-Mex, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm gonna pass out. I feel very delirious. But, it tastes pretty good right now, you know what I'm saying? This guy just tried to leave the apartment complex and he was like sliding in the snow. We're also supposed to get more, uh, we're supposed to get five more inches of snow. So, there's that. And if you live in somewhere that's like snowy and it snows all the time, good for you. Okay, but I'm in Texas. We don't get snow. So we are not prepared for it. I just don't understand why people are like making fun of Texans for like not being prepared or not being able to handle it properly or, you know, it's just weird. Like we're literally not okay. And y'all are like <laughs> fucking Texans. And it's like, you're miserable. Like if I saw somebody that was like not okay, I would pray for them, not make fun of them. I've looked at four different hotels and they are all sold out. They literally say like no rooms available. And I just should have done this earlier, but I don't know. I just had like hopeful thinking and I was like, I can get through this. Like if I don't have power, I'll just bundle up. I'll be fine. I don't know what I was thinking, but I really feel like I'm just like, ugh. I think I'm just gonna lay down because I'm honestly really sleepy. Bundy was actually asleep before I started talking. Here's Brantley. It's literally only 7.30, but I'm just, I think it's because I haven't really drank water today. Like I only had five bottles of water, um, but I only drank like one. So that way I could like save it, you know? <sighs> All right, it's gonna be nine o'clock. I've just been laying here. I didn't really fall asleep, but I almost did. It was honestly probably the most comfortable thing all day. Uh, the dogs are hinting that they wanna, you know. So yeah, uh, I have to go to the bathroom myself, so I'm gonna have to go back into my apartment, and it's gonna be cold, and I'm gonna leave the dogs in my car and lock the door and have the car on, so that way they're not cold. It is way too cold to leave them anywhere else besides like my car with the car on okay it's 10 30 at night i'm going to drive to my friend rita's house she's 45 minutes away so it's gonna probably take me like two hours to get there but i can't do this it's gonna get worse it's literally gonna drop down to one degrees in literally like a few hours so i just can't do this i have the dog strapped in so yeah after i got to my friend's house I stopped vlogging because my main focus was my brother and sister. My sister was going on 60 hours of no power and they had very little to eat at home. Um, but luckily she did have her car that she could go in her car and get warm and charge her phone. Uh, whereas my brother, his truck would not start. It was frozen or something. His truck would not start. His phone was going to die and his pipes were frozen. So he didn't have water and he barely had any food to eat. So when I came to my friend's house, that's where my main focus was. I was calling all of the warming centers and people in Austin, like, you know, people who had resources to help. And unfortunately in Austin, all of the warming centers uh, did not have power. So imagine you were trying to get help and I'm not, I'm not asking for sympathy for them either. Now they are fine. They are, they are completely fine. I'm just letting you know at the time I stopped vlogging because I was very worried about them and I'm, I was trying to help them. Um, but just imagine like your only uh, resource like a warming center doesn't have power like that is just insane and my heart is seriously with those that have less and that went without you know food and water and, and that are still without food and water uh, this is just really really sad um and i hope this video is not too negative and i hope it doesn't like bring you down i just kind of wanted to spread awareness about like what was happening because seriously like the ignorant comments that people have said to me and people that have said online i just don't understand why anyone would be so ugly towards others in time of need um but again 
I am fine. My family is fine. I'm so very thankful that my family and me are good and that the dogs are safe. So again, thank you so much for watching. If you stayed through the whole video, I know this was probably a long one. So thank you again for watching and thank you for checking in on me and yeah. February 17th, 2021, went to the grocery store to get pitch plates, cups, because we are without water. We were one of the fortunate ones because we do have electricity, which means that we have heat, emergency lights only. Everything is gone. I was very lucky to be able to find a store that still accepted debit cards. Everywhere else is cash only. ATMs at banks are shut down, either don't work, okay, out of order. And this is the last yeah. meat section. The deli man operating by headlight and only has two crates left. Hey Texas, New Yorker here. And uh, I want to show you what the weather is like over here. So, good amount of snow. We had a huge storm, having another one tomorrow. Um, this is about 24 inches, as you can see, but I wanna talk to you about what's going on by you. So I see a lot of you asking, how do we handle this? Like what you guys are going through? And the short answer is we don't. That is not what happens over here. We have people who prep the roads, clean the roads, salt the roads. We have people who clean the walks right away. We're pretty much back to normal the next day. Our pipes don't burst. Our houses are very insulated. Uh, we don't lose electricity. So my heart goes out to you, prayers to you. Um, I hope that life resumes to normal for you guys really, really soon. Hey guys, so for those of y'all who are wondering just how bad this is, um, I'm standing in the parking lot of my office right now. I had to go in because I'm a cancer surgeon and cancer doesn't stop. Um, my staff and my patients are the only cars in the entire parking lot um, because our building doesn't have water and it's like 30 degrees. The heat is not really enough um, and it's also freezing inside the building. We're actually right next to a main hospital and they don't have running water either. They aren't able to do dialysis on patients and the people who are working, like the staff and the nurses and the admins, are literally using porta potties. Um, so this is a humanitarian crisis. This is a real situation here. Um, and I just want y'all to know how bad it is.